making an old school design drink with kind of new school type ingredients. So if you can imagine a pre-prohibition cocktail from the Caribbean, and not a Cuba Libre, that's what we're doing. Stay tuned. What do fathers want for Father's Day? Cool stuff from awesomedrinks.com. Just ask them. Use our coupon code. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. This feels weird to say that just like that and be done. Uh, today, we're making the old Kraken submitted by Albert. This recipe is two ounces of Kraken, half ounce of simple syrup, four dashes of Angostura, and a little bit of lime zest. So if you can imagine, close your eyes and imagine for a second. It's basically an old fashioned with rum, with a spiced rum. Uh, you could use a, a little bit of um, maybe like a, a sugar cube instead of the simple syrup. It makes it more authentic to maybe the old fashioned or something. But I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna take, so actually we're gonna build it like an old fashioned. So we're gonna take the sugar, we'll put that in first. So we'll do a half ounce of sugar. I'm gonna build an old fashioned while, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it. And take that old fashioned, that old fashioned sugar, throw it right in the bottom. So you can build this in the glass. If you don't currently own a shaker because you just don't want to support awesomedrinks.com, then um, you could just make this cocktail pretty easy. And then you're going to take your Angostura bitters or your favorite aromatics, and you're going to do four dashes. One, two, three, four. So the aromatics are really the big, the big deal in this drink because this has got your spices. So I, the, the, the trick with like a, a, a bourbon or a, a whiskey is they don't have the flavor, they don't have the spiced flavors, the, um, that you get out of an Angostura, like the cloves and the and the barks and all that. So spiced kind of usually has a few of those. So what we're going to do is we're just apparently going to accent that with a little uh, little awesome fest in our mouse. Here we go. Two ounces. What I'm going to do first, however, is add in a little ice. Just gonna do two cubes. The glass is probably gonna be over the size of the drink, but I'll, I see a lot of old fashioned served that way with a little bit of a, a little bit of a overly large glass. Then, my friends, I'm gonna take a little bit of a, a little zesty zest. Off of our lime, yeah, lime. Here I thought I made, I said lemon by accident. A little, a little deep on that one. Carve it to look pretty. There. Now, I'm gonna bend it a little bit. Get some of the, uh, the pouches to express their oils onto the drink. Rub it around on the outside a little bit. Now, this isn't part of the recipe as I see it, but. This is not too abnormal for a, a uh, classic drink. And since we're kind of building it old Kraken, as in something to do with an older drink, I think that it kind of fits to just go through the motions of, of having built, whoa, and having built it in old style. All right, now, because you've put that oil around it and you express it in there, you get this really sweet lime smell to it. Uh, that reminds me more of a Kuiperania, like it has that Kuiperania lime smell, which is really nice. It's like a rum and coke without the coke. This is for the hardcore. Um, ooh, it's really flavorful. Uh, it, just as if you're going um, pure spirit, but you're not. This is this is more of your traditional cocktail. It's got your your base spirit, your modifying agent, sugars, um, and your bitters. This is as simple as it gets. The one thing that it kind of has, I don't know if it's gonna, it's not really an issue per se, but it is warmer. The the cubes of ice that are in here, they're melting pretty quick, but it's pure spirit. It's not shaken with ice, anything like that. So. There is a, it's, it's a little bit above room temperature, but it's not crazy above. Typically when you drink, uh, you know, old fashions and stuff like that, they're usually not super, super cold. If you don't like that, you're in this hybrid space of like Caribbean cocktail, but old fashioned style cocktail, where do you play? 
you could try crushed ice if you want to go cold and make it more of like a um, either the Kyperania or like a julep style. I, I think that would be kind of neat. To, it would be very cold. It, the alcohol that you're kind of getting on the flavor, there's a sweet and the spice, but there's also the alcohol component playing in here. That would kind of throw that off a little bit. I think if you did that, bringing up the bringing down the temperature is going to give a, a sweeter taste to it. You're going to end up with probably something closer to a rum and coke in sweetness just because it's what it's going to do to your face really just your tongue it's got a really lovely hint of like spicy sweet limes overall it does have like the flavor of a coke syrup though like the um what's coke is it it's not a vanilla like cocoa bean or i don't know what makes coke its flavor caramel maybe maybe it's a little bit of like a brown sugar caramel thing going on i don't know if that's that might just be i i'm i i will admit i don't sit down and suck down cracking straight all the time these guys over in the the live stream though they're pretty hardcore 94 proof uh 47 alcohol so it's seven percent higher than if you were to just order a whiskey uh so it's definitely going to bring a little of the extra heat Chill it down if that's the way you like it. That's it. Question of the day. Come on, people. You got a question in the room, right? No, no questions. You guys are disappointing me. We do like five shows in a row. Step up. Uh, if you could drill anywhere in the world, we did that one. Uh, I'm going to pull up a question here. Mm, that's kind of too girly. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good one. Are you a cat or dog person? Or neither. Dog. There's a, there's, a, I'm a dog person. I, the only thing I can think of doing with cats is. Getting rid of them. Getting rid of them. No, the beauty of a cat, I look at a cat as a utility. If I were to own a cat, it would be to get rid of the mice and anything else that would be in the neighborhood. But we get, we got people who do that for us. We got people. Uh, so I don't really see the usefulness of a cat. Dogs are kind of cool and they protect you. If you're in your house and a robber comes in your house, your cat is going to let him right in. Your dog, though. Our dog would let him in, too. <laughs> All right. I think. Or what's the best first drink to order at a bar? Thank you. What's the best first drink to order at a bar? I can answer my what I would do. If I'm at a bar, I'm going to be ordering something easy. Um, a Kyperania, a whiskey sour. Um, something that comes off the top of my head. A Moscow Mule, but I don't really want vodka, so I go dark and stormy. That gives me the chance to to kind of warm up to it, get get started. I don't like to start with shots and get all crazy or lubricate up right away. I like to start with a drink that probably is partial um, carbonated beverage or something, or, or caffeine or energy drink or something like that. That way, you can kind of get into it slowly. And while you get that drink, and you if you always order the same thing, then you don't you can start looking at the different selections they have. Maybe you understand. What I would do is this. I'd order my Dark and Stormy. If they go, uh, I don't want to make that. Or, or if they're smart enough to say, I don't have ginger beer at the bar. Then, okay, you already have a sense of what type of bar it is. Now you order your whatever, your uh, whiskey sour. Bahama Mama. Bahama Mama. Your wet pussy. Whatever. Singapore sling. Yeah, Singapore sling. If you can't get a Dark and Stormy and you ask for Singapore sling, the guy's just going to be like, are you kidding me? Uh, I would go easy, judge their talent level before I get too crazy. That way, you could scan and look at what they have, especially if they're not if they're not getting hammered. If they're you know, because then you're gonna get order quicker. If they're already getting hammered, probably have a lot of time to think about it. And just observe the bartender to see what they're doing and if they know what they're doing. Then I would order the Singapore Sling and whatnot, because you don't want to get a crappy one. It can't be cheap. It's got a lot of stuff in it. Nobody wants to pay fifteen dollars for a piece of crap cocktail. No, I'll pay fifteen dollars for a cocktail. Period. <laughs> You're in New York. You you do what New Yorkers do. Uh, we're done. That's it. You can get your, what are these, our old-fashioned glasses? Double. Double old-fashioned because it's double the size. You, you can, I still wouldn't go with double the alcohol in this drink, by the way. Uh, double old-fashioned glasses and twisted bar spoons at awesomedrinks.com. It's been 10 minutes, folks. We're done. We're teaching how to drink. Any larger? Do I have any small straws? <laughs> That's awesome. It's the size of the glass. <laughs> yeah, well, it can't reach the bottom because there's a there's ice cube. But you do. Get